Good morning, Grace Church. I want you to think. If you had a really big problem that just seemed huge and you didn't know how to solve it, what would you do? Would you panic? <laughs> would you try and figure it out by Googling what to do? Would you give up and just be sad? <laughs> what would you do if you had a huge problem? Well, today in our true story from the Bible, we meet a lady called Hannah, and she has a big problem. She's married, but she doesn't have any children, and she can't have children. And her and her husband would love some children. And because she doesn't have children, some people are really mean to her, and they pick on her and make her life miserable. So what does Hannah do in the middle of her big problem? Does she panic? No. Does she Google what to do? No. Does she just give up and be sad? No. Do you know what Hannah does? In the middle of her huge problem, she prays. She talks to God about her problem. You see, God is bigger than any problem that we might have. He can always comfort us. And he always, always wants to listen to us when we pray to him. Hannah prayed to God and God was very kind. And he gave her and her husband a baby, a little boy called Samuel. And when God had helped Hannah with her big problem, what do you think she did next? Do you think she just ignored God and didn't bother saying thank you? No. Hannah was very clear that the baby was a gift from God. She was really thankful to God. She understands that all the thanks and all the praise needs to go to God for her baby. You see, when we ask God for his help, and he helps us, we must remember to say thank you and to praise God for his kindness to us. As we look at the true story of Hannah in the Bible, we can see that we can always ask God for his help with our problems. And when he helps us, we must say thank you. When Hannah prays and thanks God, she says, there is no God but you. Hannah understands there's only one God. He loves us. He cares for us. He is the only God that we should love and that we should praise. So when we have problems, when we're really worried, when we don't know what to do, we can pray and talk to God and share them with God. He may not always help us in the way that we think he should, but he will always be there for us. When we pray and God helps us, let's never forget to say thank you. And you know, God has helped us with the biggest problem that we could ever face. God has helped us with the problem of sin. He did that by sending Jesus to take the punishment for sin instead of us. So God has helped us with the biggest problem. And therefore, we've all got something to thank God for. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you've helped us all with the big problem of sin, that we could do nothing about ourselves. Help us to always remember that. And please help us when we're in trouble, when we're worried, to ask for your help and to come to you. Amen.